Hi Aries, thank you for viewing Searchlight Tarot. My name is Elena. I am doing your spread. I'm going to get some cards right now for the strongest energies around you. I'll be looking at your recent past, the person you've been dealing with, if you've been dealing with someone, and then what's coming in in the next few weeks. We got the uh, Lion's Gate on August 8th, and then we do this last super moon in Aquarius on the 11th of August. A lot of activity incoming. Make sure you guys put out there what you really, really, really want with a grateful heart. All right, let's do it. Strongest energies, please. This is good for all placements. It is general, so it won't resonate with everyone. I always ask for the strongest messages for Aries that this reading is for. Strongest energies around the sign of Aries, please. Okay, what would you like to show me? Some cards for the strongest energies. Thank you. Around the sign of Aries. This reading is for, please. Show me what else I need to see for the strongest energies for Aries. I did hear a song, and I only heard a verse, and it's not the song because I know what the song's about. But I heard that song, Gold on the Ceiling. Like, I feel there's something you want that that song is about something different, but I just heard the one verse, gold on the ceiling, you know, that one verse. And I thought, oh, there's something they really want and they're trying to figure out how to, if they could obtain, how to obtain to get it. The card underneath the deck is triumph and success. So how can I obtain that? How can I obtain that gold on the ceiling? Because underneath that, I have fulfillment of wishes. Something you really want, Aries, or a person, a job, a business, something you really want and you're trying to figure out how to obtain it. That gold on the ceiling. Hmm. And then I have sacrifice. Sacrifice is a card about something needs to go in order for your fulfillment of wishes to come in. That's what I feel. A lot of people right now with all that's going on, all this activity, a lot of these readings are been, have been walking away so something new can come in or big power once you let something go. I have destiny. It's definitely your destiny, Aries. It's something that you've had a lot of hope in. You know, destiny can be something that you feel drawn to and there's no stopping you. It just keeps pulling you. It could be a new career path, a lover, a friend, um, something you were meant to do, go to nursing school or anything of that environment and you've had a lot of hope and you felt it was your, your destiny and right now you're trying to figure out how to get that gold on the ceiling. That, that thing you want that you can't get out of your head but something needs to go, and then I have emotional withdrawal. If I was going to say something has to go, it has to be something that you're emotionally holding on to, or someone, or something. Hmm. All right, I'm going to get the, the recent past, and then I'll be looking at what's coming in for you. For the sign of Aries, recent past. Of course, after I look at the crossing energies. Okay, I just feel like this is something you really want. You know, I heard that song, Gold on the Ceiling, only the one lyric. And I just felt that, oh, Aries is seeing something that they, they're wondering how they can get to it. Hmm, or someone, or something you want. Recent past, thank you, spirits, for the beautiful sign of my Aries. <laughs> Recent past for the sign of Aries, please. Thank you. What would you, thank you, like to show me, thank you, for the recent past, for the sign of Aries. I was, I'm always afraid to, oh, anything else, because I'm like, oh my gosh, Aries. I got hope, I got the star on my lap. Who else flew? Pardon me, pardon my squeaky chair, I do apologize. I keep forgetting to grease that thing. Okay, these are the cards. All right, let's start. Underneath the deck is, I have the Eight of Cups recently in the past. This is you feeling as if whatever you've been going through in your life, it's emotionally done. It's like, it's emotionally, I don't, I don't want that anymore. I want something new because I got the world showing up and that is a completion. That is telling me there's something recently you've been through that has come full circle and you're ready to start something new because I do have the 10 of swords. It's another completion card. It's something that you feel kind of, I feel betrayed, backstabbed with because then I have the six of swords. And this is a card of rite of passage to calmer waters with your thoughts. You knew you had to get away. You knew you had to get away from something. Because I have the Hierophant. Why are these cards like this? Should I take them? Yep, it says to take them. They just flew out of my hand. 
All right. I have the Druid, the Hierophant. This is very traditional energy recently in your past. It's Taurus energy. But this was, you, had, you were so determined to have faith and commitment to something. You were going to get there. You know you're going to get there by what I see in front of you. It's just how. I do have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Uh, this is something I feel that stalled you out from going after something you want to do with your stability. It's what I feel. Or somebody got stalled out. They just, they didn't, they stopped coming towards you, stopped coming towards you. I have the Page of Swords in reverse. Uh, like there has been no, like I feel there's something you stopped, you were trying to stop thinking about because you knew that it was going to take time for something to come together for you is what I feel. The Fool in reverse. Recently in the past, you know, that's, about, that's a little reckless energy but I feel like this is something that there was a force playing against you and you couldn't get something new started. You couldn't take a leap of faith. I have the 10 of wands. I have the five of cups. Let's get all the ugly stuff out of the way first. <laughs> uh, the five of cups, I feel that there was something around you that was always disappointing you. Like it was the rabbit hole of every time you look down that situation, it looked very bleak. And the Ten of Wands is it started to become a weight to you. Like you were getting tired of holding on to some type of emotion. I have the Hanging Man. I have Pisces energy and I have it right next to an Ace of Cups. Like you felt stuck about getting a new opportunity of love because I feel you really wanted one. You really wanted a new beginning with love for something or someone. I have the Nine of Cups. The Eight and the Nine. The Nine of Cups in this deck is the Celtic Cross Tarot. Basically, your wish got you served with your head on a platter. Hmm. Because I have the star in front of me, big Aquarius. It's something recently into your current energies that you've healed from. You had hope and faith knowing, hey, it might not work out this time, but it is going to work out the next time. That's what I'm feeling. I have the Ten of Pentacles. And I have, you're just waiting for something to change. I got the Wheel of Fortune. You're waiting for something to change. You're waiting for something to play out in your favor and it's gonna to lead to your ultimate stability because you see gold on the ceiling. I mean, that's what I'm saying. You see gold on the ceiling. It's like it's triumph and success with fulfillment of wishes. There's your gold on the ceiling, hope. And it's something that's been calling towards you. It's your destiny or someone. Last card they gave me is the three of pentacles. It's kind of in reverse. So I feel that recently moving into your current energies is there was something you were trying to come together. Could have been a marriage, could have been a different job or profession to do with your ultimate stability. Coming, to coming Something being worked on with other people was kind of like this. So I felt that recently in the past, something just wasn't coming together for you. You know, there was like the great divide and I feel that you were just waiting. Now you're just waiting. You're waiting for that gold on the ceiling. You know you're going to have triumph and success and your fulfillment of wishes because you have the hope around you right now. And I feel you're just letting go of some emotional, yeah, emotional, emotional, emotional pain you know needs to go in order for you to stay focused to get that gold on your ceiling. Hmm. Very interesting, Aries. Your readings always are. I'm going to look at the crossing energies. Who shall I use? They're like, pick me. <laughs> Oh, let's use these. All right. I have the Three of Pentacles under the deck. That is a card of marriage, stability, crossing energies for the sign of Aries. Thank you. Thank you, spirit guides. Show me the crossing. Oh, no, no. We're not going to start this, are we? The Knight of Pentacles with the King of Swords. Nine of Cups, Six of Swords, Leo, Death, and Six of Pentacles. You're like, what does it mean? <laughs> I feel like with the King of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles here, it's somebody who's very detached in their energy of the King of Truth, Honesty, Integrity. With the Knight of Pentacles, they're moving very slowly. Like that Knight takes forever to move. It'll come in. It just takes a long time. And then with Wish Fulfillment... And transformation I felt like someone is just waiting for something to change hmm crossing energies for the sign of Aries thank you
Show me the cards. Thank you. I need to see for the sign of Aries crossing. Thank you. Anything else about the crossing energies for the sign of Aries? Who took a dive on my lap? Underneath the deck, I have somebody at a big old crossroads. I have the magician with the eight of pentacles. The two of swords is on the bottom of the deck and it's with an ace of cups, with a two of cups. This is somebody who's at a crossroads about how to get that new opportunity of love with you. And they're willing to do whatever it takes. A lot of work. A lot of trickery to make something happen here, Aries. I can hear you right now. It's not my fault. I'm just telling you about the opposing energies. I have the two of cups. I have big Leo showing up. And there's somebody here who wants a bigger commitment. The Hierophant. This Taurus energy showing up again. Two of cups with Leo, the sun, and the Hierophant. This is somebody who wants... A connection with you um, I think the only thing that's holding them back is I got the Queen of Swords showing up it's whether it's male or female I just kind of feel that that is the Queen of Evaluation that is the Queen that is in this energy of feeling as if somebody's been deceptive because then I have the Six of Pentacles the Seven of Pentacles, and the Nine of Swords. So it's like somebody wants to give into a situation and put work into it with you, but they're having a lot of sleepless nights, and I think it's about the Queen of Swords, and it's with the Hierophant. They could be married to somebody else or with somebody else, but right now they're just at this giant crossroads. You know, this is a place of indecision of what's going to serve them for their highest good. Trying to make a decision with a blindfold on and two swords and the moon above it. As Donnie Brasco would say, forget about it. <laughs> I saw that movie a few weeks ago. I, I can't get that out of my head. All right, you guys. So we got some more cards. I do apologize. I'm just give four swords sideways and I have it with the king of pentacles. King of Pentacles is Taurus showing up again in your reading. But this is somebody who wants everything to do with their stability. They want to be a success. Or they're taking a time out a little bit because they're waiting for you to become a success. Kind of feel that too. Because you want gold on the ceiling. I have the Page of Swords, I have the Queen of Wands, and then the Two of Wands. So the Page of Swords is someone who's always looking at you, spying on you, watching you. You're probably asking how. I don't know, but the Page is looking right at your energies. Very inquisitive about you, Aries. They want to know what you've been up to. And I do have the Queen of Wands. I did feel with the Magician, there's a little bit of trickery here. Um, the Queen of Wands is determined to get what that Queen wants. That Queen is a very passionate, charismatic Queen. It's fire energy. You know, Aries, Leo, Sag. Then I have the Two of Wands. So they're stuck between something here because they have the Two of Swords, Two of Wands, Queen of Swords. They're stuck. I just feel like that Queen of Swords is something that's blocking them. You know, maybe they're afraid of you. Maybe they're afraid that you're going to say something to them, but I don't feel that. I feel like it's somebody else's energy. I don't know. There's some, this person, whoever you've been dealing with, I have the Queen of wands with the king of pentacles i do feel that there's something here they're trying to make their mind up about but they are watching you you know they feel this is a love connection and i did feel that they're going to start to put a lot of work into something to make something happen with some magic i don't mean black and white magic i mean i feel somebody really wants you he was just like i know <laughs> but right now you're going after your destiny for triumph and success with a lot of hope and fulfillment of your wishes, that gold on the ceiling that you want. I'm going to look at what's coming in for you in the next few weeks. I'm gonna use these today for oracles. I got a leg up. All right, incoming for my beautiful Aries. From now through the rest of August. Thank you. Aries, incoming energy spirit guides, thank you. Tell me about the incoming energy for the sign of Aries. Oh, what else do you want to show me, please? Incoming energies for the sign of my Aries, please. Anything else? 
Nope. Okay, let me put my glasses on. Underneath the deck is they want me to tell you to be flexible with something. That's what I have. Be flexible. Kind of go with the flow about something here. And they want me to tell you to make sure everything is fair. To be fair. Meaning that whatever is about to come your way that's going to create something for you with a lot of milk and honey, make sure legal matters are worked out or truth has been spoken. Just what I feel. I have no place like home and I have building blocks. You are going towards something. You're building something. It's your destiny. It's your legacy. I'm blessed. You guys are coming. I can't believe I just did that. You guys are coming into something here. I have go to the sea. This is about you getting in your vehicle above your body of emotion and going after what it is you want. Last card they gave me. Oh, is this what you want? Peace. You guys, all of these cards are beautiful. No bad cards here. This is about something that you are going to keep building to get to your gold on the ceiling. No place like home. Your milk and money. It's something you feel is your destiny. Just make sure when it comes in, you're flexible with it and everything is fair. All right. I'm done preaching. I'm going to get some cards though. Let's take a look, Aries. All right. Two of pentacles on the bottom. Should I or shouldn't I? Juggle this to juggle that. Take from Peter to give to Paul. <laughs> All right, let me concentrate. Incoming energies for the beautiful sign of Aries. Show me why all these wonderful oracles are here for my Aries. All right. It's the Five of Swords. Put it back in. I'm just going to put it back in. I'm not even going to read into it yet. Incoming energies, please. All right. What would you like to show me for the sign of Aries? Thank you. Incoming energies. Why are these here in their incoming oracles for my beautiful, oh, beautiful Aries? Incoming energies, please. Hmm. For the sign of Aries. Incoming energies for Aries. No, I said, oh, because I saw the devil. Oh, well, underneath the deck, Aries, is I have the Ace of Cups. A new opportunity of love. A beginning, a start, a fresh start. I have it with the moon. That's Pisces, but that is telling me that right around that super moon in Aquarius, August 11th, I got a feeling you got a brand new opportunity of love coming in. And I don't mean with a person. It could be with a person, but it's an opportunity. It's a new beginning. It could be with a job, a person, something you want, because I got Scorpio showing up and it has to do with your Ten of Pentacles, your ultimate stability. Scorpio is getting out of that old dead skin that you've been in in the past that stalled you out. And then I have the Six of Cups with the Fool. You know, that Six of Cups is a card of nostalgia, feeling young again, feeling alive again, somebody you've known for a freaking ass long time. I just think it's something here that is going to push you into taking that leap. I think this is just something that is being transformed in the incoming energies. It's your ultimate coin, your ultimate stability. Taking a leap of faith, feeling alive again. I have an Ace of Swords and I have it with the Seven of Swords. The Ace of Swords is new truths, new clarity, clear on vision from anyone or anything that has been deceptive, stalling you out blocking you with deceptive energy it's also a card about using strategy it's like i think you really want that gold in the ceiling and i think you're starting to see on how to do it seven of swords is aquarius energy i'm an aquarius it's a card about deception sneaking out the back door leaving a trail behind strategy to get what you want i have a three of cups this is a card of something coming together for you with love aries and I have it with a golden opportunity, the Ace of Pentacles. Um, this is a golden opportunity that is finally coming in together for you with love. 
but I feel that they want me for you to see something with the truth and use a little bit of strategy and see the people for who and what they are. I just feel that because I got the big wheel showing up. Wheel of Fortune, Aries, this is something that got stalled out recently in your past. It's finally coming in. It's the Wheel of Fortune, and then I have the Devil sideways. Finally becoming unchained, and the Wheel of Fortune is about to roll in your favor. So you can get your gold on the ceiling. I'm going to say that. You know, it's something you've been thinking about. It's something you want. You just got stalled out in the past. Well, not no more. Not no more. Right after that full moon in Aquarius. Make sure you do your manifestation on 8-8 with a grateful heart. All right, Spirit Guides, two cards for the beautiful sign of my Aries. Or something's about to change with the big Capricorn. I don't know. <laughs> Whenever I see the devil, I try to forget, you know, I forget it's Capricorn. But it is, you know, about something that kept pulling us back in. Getting unchained. Because the wheel's about to go boop. In your favor two cards please for the beautiful sign of my Aries two messages about the reading today spirit what do you want to tell Aries today one more card thank you that's all I need to see I don't even want to know what they are yet till I put on my glasses oh well you guys got a lot of action coming in I got Angel Gabriel showing up. Paige Gabriel is first. Follow your passions, your destiny. You are ready for any challenge, opportunities for excitement and adventure. I'm telling you guys, something's about to change. You guys got three aces. You got the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Swords. Look at that. And it's with the Wheel of Fortune. Ho! Oh, jackpot! and get an unchain from anything that's been an unhealthy situation for you. I have the six of Gabriel. Hmm. Congratulations. Told you, you're gonna get that gold that you want. You're gonna get it. You've done a wonderful job. Time to move on to the next project, awards, scholarships, or promotions. I told you, Aries, I felt it. Whatever that you really want right now, and you know you see it, you see it, you want that, you're gonna get it. You just gotta use a little strategy. This is what I have for you today, my beautiful Aries. If you guys enjoyed it and it helped and it resonated, please remember to like, leave a comment if you like, subscribe if you're not, thank you. Thank you, oh my beautiful Aries, I love you. You guys are awesome. Many blessings to you. 8-8 eight, eight is right here on Monday, so get in that portal and start manifesting Aries because you guys are the great manifestors. Thank you, Aries Nation, and everyone have a beautiful day. Thank you so much.